channel and welcome to Against the Storm. So, uh, what is this? Uh, apparently it is a colony builder that's a roguelite. And I, as soon as I heard that from the developers, I was like, yes, 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 yes. Let's give this a go. That sounds like something daddy wants very much. Um, there is, this is actually a demo build that is on the, uh, Epic Store. So you should be able to get it yourself as well. I, actually, I can see, it says there that it's a closed beta version against the storm. Um, closed beta usually means invite only, but I'm pretty sure I just Googled this on the store and got in, so, so, you know, check it out if you want to check it out yourself. ...by the Blight Storm, a vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. How gorgeous is his art? The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. Yeah, yeah. You are one of her viceroys. A pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city. Right. Secure the future of the queen's subjects. Okay, cool. How beautiful is that art? I love that storybook sort of presentation. All right, use Wazda. Oh, wow, what a very... That is a small city. <laughs> Neglecting your village will increase the queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. Okay, yeah, well, let's not bloody do that. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation and unlock new buildings. All right, do, do duties. We can do that. Um, what's this button? You can pick a new building blueprint. Okay. The queen's envoy. Your renown grows viceroy. The crown has sent me to award you with a blueprint from the Obsidian Library. Choose wisely. Are you an elf or a crow? I can't tell what's going on there. You look you don't look bad. <clears throat> Pick Lumber Camp. Yes. Do I have to place it down or something? Press space to resume. Oh, okay. Oh, they're my little boys. They've got tails. Great. We're a furry colony. I've got little beaver dudes as well in robes. That's cool. Oh god, did, I had something pop up at the bottom and I didn't see it. Oh, what's going on here now? Press space to resume. Okay. Oh, I think maybe it was just warning me space to resume. Okay, I understand. We've got some resources up here. We've got some dudes up. Oh no. We have humans, we have beavers, and we have lizards. <clears throat> okay, well, you know. Lizard fire keepers are very adept at ancient rites. What? Okay. Where are the humans? It's a good question. Where are they indeed? Okay, camps. Lumber camp. Okay, looks like there's a proximity component to this. What if we put this like right there? You guys gonna be smart enough to get on that? This little beaver's on the move. Oh, he's bringing a box. Anyone else want to help this bloke out? All right, they're getting on the tools. Can I? I can speed up, but I can't use the number keys. I can't use tab. That makes me very sad. <coughs> um. Okay, lumber camp. Starting point for woodcutters going into and out of the. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That makes kind of sense, doesn't it? What do these buttons do? Are any of you, like, better at chopping wood or something? Population, free workers, specialists, worker. Worker, fire keeper. Humans are adept at farming, but prefer to work indoors. Beavers are gifted woodworkers, enjoy working with rain punk technology. Yeah, you like to see that. Stuff it. Let's get all three of the boys on the tools. They'll love it. They'll love it. All right, now what's going on here? High resolve. Queen's impatience. Mark trees for harvesting. Clear mark trees. Okay. Looks like they're just going to autopilot anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Orders. Lumber camps. Objectives. Rewards. They'll give me a pair of beavers. Sounds sus, doesn't it? Uh, Queen's Grace, one reputation. Yes. Now, what's this? Exploring the wilds. 
two glades and these unlock over time uh, okay How about, can we track them both yeah let's do that all right let's get another lumber camp going that seems to be what they want press r to rotate yeah maybe we do something like that have a little pseudo street springing up Oh, there's a human there. They're wearing a little bloody hat. That's cool. Two out of two, 23 wood. Okay, so we could deliver that. Completed. And what's this? We need to discover two glades. Explore the wilds, two glades. Okay. Foragers camp. They go in the wild to gather mushrooms, eggs, reeds. Okay. Nice. Um, scavengers camp. Gather vegetables and stuff. Okay. Food production, housing, shelter. Can house any villager, but won't get access to the species' specific needs. Has four places. What's our population limit thing? I don't know. Maybe we should just build a house. I think that's probably good form. Oh, look, look, look. They're... Okay, that's how we explore different areas, I think. That's nice. Let's build a house. We've got a whole bunch of little spare beaver boys. So we could mark these trees for harvesting here. There we go. Oh man, this is this is some cool stuff. The rain. Drizzle year one next clearance. Okay. Could probably speed up a little bit here. Alright, we built a little house. Oh nearly. Residence four out of four. That's pretty cool. Um okay, the two glades will come. I wonder if, like, we get a new order there or something, you know? I wonder. Now, roads, we can build roads. Simple path doesn't cost any resources, but it has a 5% villager speed increase. Well, let's start. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. Jeez, we're not my volume then. Okay. City buildings. Storage. And protects them from the rain. What are you technically? Main storage. Workers always deliver and take goods from the storage nearest to them. Okay. Makeshift hearth. Only is a meeting place. Villagers gather here to rest, eat, and receive clothing. If the fire goes out, people will use another hearth instead. Makeshift half, half. Sacrifice. Nothing can be sacrificed at this half. This worker gains plus five resolve. Lizard fire keepers are very adept at ancient rites. Okay. All right, we got ourselves some new missions. Cool beans. Um, what's going on with these pips? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. It's going left and right. Oh, I couldn't figure it out. I thought these were two different meters. Okay. What's happening here? Borages camp and mushrooms. Okay. I like this a lot. What's this? Destroy? Okay. All right. Flax field gathered via scavengers camp. Okay. Let's mark those trees. All right. Oh, it has to be a human. Interesting.
That's kind of cool that like the first two can be whatever and production focus. Okay, we can just let them get whatever they bloody feel like. That works as well. That works. Now what are we going to get here? Moldy supply plus run to mushroom production. Okay. That's cool. So we've discovered one glade, technically, which would have been that. That's cool. Nice. Oh, this is so wonderful. Crude workstation. Your renown has increased. Okay. Queen's impatience. Right. Now, what's going on here? Crude workstation. Can produce planks, rope, bricks, has two worker slots. Okay. I like that. Maybe we leave a gap in between. I like that too. Yeah. Okay, cool. What's what's this? We're in like uh, autumn or something now, right? Clearance year one, next storm. Ah. Unassigned workers? What are you talking about? Oh, I don't have any people free? Is that is that what's going on here? We could probably... Right click, there we go. Okay, he's building that. Oh, hang on. We got the glade. Here we go. Maybe we have to, if we complete them all, maybe we uh, get more or something. Now what's going on here? Planks. Oh, well, we're kind of, we're on that right now. Human house, lizard house, beaver house. How about we get a beaver house? Planks. Oh, it's all much for muchness. Let's get a beaver house. Did we get more population? We did too. Uh -huh. All right. Now, what's going on here? They're going to make planks. They're going to make rope from plant to fibre. Obtained from the scavenger's camp or grown at plantation. Do we have plant fibre? Oh, hang on. Flax will give us plant fibre. Now, what's, what's their gather range? What if we go... Forager's camp has no deposit nearby. Interesting. Now, what's this? Furvin Runebeak. Look at this dude. He looks very cool for a furry. Royal Stormwalker. These people have been sent here by the crown. Which group do you want to stay and the others continue on? Um, well, let's get them. That's cool. So we get a population bump. Um, I might actually deconstruct this. Right, it's in my way. Do something like that. And, uh, we'll build a, uh, where, where are we? Where are we? Forager's camp. Sca no, scavenger's camp. Oh. Like that. Nice. Okay, they just hang around when they got nothing on. Alright, 
So they're going to start grabbing flax for me. Which is awesome. And then this thing will start... Limit. Try to produce goods until a specific amount is reached. Well, we'll see how we go. Doesn't seem they've produced any planks yet. Oh, hang on. What's this? Storage. Common rope. Oh, you know what? Because we need more bloody... It'd be good if we had, like, a dedicated outpost for just dudes that, that carry things around. What's this? Increase resolve to affect reputation. Oh, is this... That's the amount of free workers? Ah. I like that. Can we free up a lizard? Oh, lumber camp. Hang on. Try and, try and spread the love around, you know? This music is absolutely wonderful. Everything about this game is fantastic so far. I'm kind of devastated it's only a demo. Beaver House. Let's go. Oh, we got a shitload of planks. What's this? The Queen's Envoy. Or Envoy, if you like. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. Insect traps or exploration contract. The Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing with... Re oh, okay, that's cool. A stockpile of insect traps that let you catch any insects feeding off of mushrooms. Um, let's try it. I want the exploration one. That sounds interesting. How are we going, by the way? We need to build bricks. Produce at the crude workstation, brickyard, and kiln. And what do we need here? Clay. Obtained at the stone cutter's camp. What are you? You're clay. Okay, that's nice. Let's, uh... Let's do that. That noise... Uh, when, when you plonk down a building must make my headphone peak. I think. I think it should come fine on the audio recording. Oh, we got some spare lizards? Or maybe we don't. Oh no, we don't. I'm an idiot. That's cool, the lizard extra thing there. Okay, so they're better at picking up rocks, apparently. And we've got one human to... Now, what's going on here? Scavenger camp has no deposits nearby. Oh, we've got a limited range situation going on. Okay. Oh, and they've actually dried up all the flax. That's cool. Okay. Hang on. Lumber camp. We'll just have a rolling system. I like this. I like this a lot, to be honest. What is that? Root. Stone cutters camp, eh? How are we going? 
Well, we're getting the bricks going. And we've, I think we've run out of plant fiber, haven't we? Okay. Oh, what's this? More people, please. Oh, yes. Um, who are we hurting for? Probably lizards. Let's get some more lizards. Two lizards? Let's go, baby. Um. Scavengers camp, foragers camp. Housing. Let's get let's get the housing situation under control. Oh, what's going on here? Out of deposits. Okay. Oh, I can just move the building whole cloth. That is unreal. We'll get rid of it for now. I'm s oh shit! I had the I had the delete button still clicked. God damn it! Well, we'll build a beaver house. Cause we want we want to build one of them. Surely. How many beavers are living in this house? Three. Okay. And then we'll build a normal house here. Still want to make that rope. Like what's what's this thing? They can be found on dangerous glades. Oh, we've also got that explorer place that we need to make. Or maybe it was just was it a deal? Like they gave they gave us points for exploring, I believe is how it worked out. Might put a lumber camp right there in the corner. Orders are ready to complete. Here we go. Nice. Oh, look, she's calmed down a bit. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going up in reputation. All right. Clothier or clothier can produce coats. Yes. Oh, this music! Let's go! Alright, let's get the beavers on it. Now, building specifically for beavers. Apparently, it enables some sort of racial component, right? But won't get access to the species-specific needs. I don't... Mm, okay. Here we go. No. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. 
All right, so we need to clear out some more areas. What's this? We're short some sort of supplies. Some sort of construction mats. Oh, we're missing reeds. Right. Well, until we uh, find some more deposits, I don't think there's much more we can do about that, right? So let's... Uh Right. We've got some spare bodies as well, don't we? Oh, is that a two gap? Oh, right. Yeah, well, can't be helped, can it? Lumber camp. All right, so that's his range, I see. I love it. I love this compact. This is really good. I, uh... It, I guess it can't be super short form, because we've sort of... ...not seen what the roguelike loop is yet. What's this? Moss broccoli. Oh, it's hidden behind the trees. Forager's camp. I love that it tells you this stuff. Let's just move this for the moment. See if they can help out. Abandoned cash. Oh. Kinda need more workers. Okay. I don't believe uh, we can do anything with that one. Yeah. Keep goods sent to the Citadel. Bundle of Amber. Yeah, fuck it. I've, oh, it's too late. I've already done it. <laughs> ah, okay. How many people have we got? Five, seven, five. Lizards are two humans and one beaver. Well, hang on. Why wouldn't I take more? I just want more. What's going on here? Forager's camp. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't have to necessarily stick everything to a road. As much as I like being neat and tidy. Probably make the most sense just to do that. Oh, maybe I should have sent that to the Queen. Valuable good. Oh, it's not valuable knowledge. Oh, this is the edge of the world, I think. Yep, okay. How the beaver houses going? Pretty full. Let's build another one.
Oh, it's short. Oh, I need reeds, I think. Oh, what's going on here? Small encampment. Welcome new people or send to the citadel. Oh shit, what is that? Glade contains a threat, be prepared. Oh. Um. Look, as much as I want the reputation. Oh, the rep, oh, the reputation half, okay, hang on. Maybe we don't need the new people. He says, as he clearly needs new people. This game is phenomenal. I'm really, I'm smitten with this. Scavenger camp, foragers camp. Oh, I haven't staffed it. Oh, where'd I get these extra beavers from? Oh, are they mate? Are they having babies? Is that what's happening? I've got eight beavers. I feel like that's what's happening. It's just not clear. That maybe, yeah, beaver home makes them have babies. Not sure about that. Oh, there you go. There's the reputation there. Forages camp. Well, I need more population. So I guess the move is... Build another beaver house since we suspect that that's what's going on. Right, they don't have the building mats, which I think is reeds or something. Oh, what's this? Is that like beer? Consumable items. Oh, you can expand the list. Oh, look at that, dude! What a what a cool tight little inventory. Coats. My clothier, clothier is making coats. All right, forages. Let's try moving this like over here. See if that, is that foragerable? I think so. Here they come, they're in their little raincoats. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that beaver house is empty. Two out of three. Okay, I see. Now what's going on here? Oh, look, it highlights. It highlights what they can... Uh... Nice. I noticed the camera goes out of focus quite, you know, like the focus is actually just here. It's actually really cool. It's almost a little fog of war. Here we go. Give me more people. Though if I took more beavers, maybe they'd make more people. I'm not sure. Send to the Citadel. 
We're like half a rep point from max, and I don't know what happens then. Perfect timing. You've won. This village is secured, but there is one more test for your skills. Resources, XP points. Okay, so completing that thing wins that. Now tell me more, game. Press any key to start. Okay. Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Right. So there's further mechanics here. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant a passive reputation over time. That sounds really good. That goes towards the win condition. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Okay. Okay, look at this. Their needs. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. Yeah, right. Farmers can only plant on farm fields and those can only be built on fertile soil. Ah. Crops can be planted in the first season drizzle and harvested during the second clearance. Nice. So there's only two seasons. Build a farm, harvest grain, serve some ale in a tavern. Oh my goodness. Cool. I love it. I do, what is this? Regular storm. Homeless villagers have a 10% chance of dying every 60 seconds during the storm. Yes. And look how much bigger the, the mission complete bar is. Oh, you love it. Can I save this? I can save, thank goodness. What a great game. Go and check it out on the uh, on the Epic Store. Like I said, there should be a, a demo build available against the Storm. Um, I am I am in love with this game. I uh, Apparently, it's going to release later this year. A significant chunk of the content is not in the demo. Um, but that's... This looks great. Everything... Uh, there's no real problems, no glaring gameplay issues or anything like that. I, I love this as, as well. Like, it doesn't use to rant a tiny bit on the end and but not to be curmudgeon -y. I don't mind violence in video games I love it I love shooting bloody bad guys in the face with a gun right that's fine but it can be a bit of a crutch I feel as a sort of gameplay loop as an objective you know you can you can really just lean on it and be kind of just boring and there's something to be said about colony builders games like this that lean more into like dare I say, the creative aspect of gameplay objective. It's about growing a town. Now, yes, there's threats that we have to mitigate, but they're more, you know, natural disasters and random things that you have to sort of stave yourself against. It's almost wave defense. Like, it's almost defending as opposed to front foot attacking. Anyway, I just find it really interesting when, uh, when you can make a really good game that doesn't necessarily lean on the pull trigger shoot bad guy. Like, again, I'm not coming at it from a curmudge the old man perspective but more that um that i think you can you can make it a bit more complex and you can make what the player has to do a little bit more complex than than just shooting anyway but that's just some thoughts on the end i like this a lot all oh, right and then there's a threat i wonder what happens when we open up a threat because we don't really have little soldiers or anything but maybe that's something we can build eventually is little soldiers yeah, I'm not against a bit of combat, of course. But I love that the loop is about making a, a thriving sort of town. I love this small scale as well. Anyway, I'm gushing. This is great. Let me know what you guys reckon. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.